Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bulldozer Investing, January 20th, 2021. It is 6.08 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Now, let's analyze the market. VIX broke down the long-term support. I believe the VIX will head towards 20.9 and 2016. Um, it is a bullish sign. However, let's not get, you know, happy. Let's wait a little, see what happens. Um, the next... Uh, the next um, fuel for the market is going to be raining checks, free money. Um, so Biden and his plans of stimulus, we'll see what happens there. So that's going to be another event that will take the market higher and VIX lower. And then we'll see what happens after that. We're going to sell the news, of course. So SPY is the next in line. Tremendous, tremendous bullish sign on the market today every dip is being bought when we were up here i said okay we keep hitting the resistance now we test this first line red line and the second red line and we were looking at the daily by the way so let's go back to daily so when i was talking about this before the huge drop i think it was when is there thursday i said that we keep testing it it looks bullish we're flagging to the upside but don't forget, we could get a huge downside towards this first line or the second red line. Um, what happened was we touched the 20-day moving average, bounced tremendously. So when I us what I usually do is not spy, but when I see a huge crash like this in two days, I wouldn't say a crash, but a reset. Um, so when I see this kind of move, I keep buying Apple calls. So we mentioned yesterday that I was on Apple Kohl's 140s, January 29th. My average went down to like 80 cents. Um, it went up to $1.70 something today. My, If you watch yesterday's video, go back to it. I said that my plan was to sell it at 100%. So I got that opportunity and that's what I did. I mean, I can easily wait and gamble and, you know, you know, go to the you know right to the moon but i don't want to do that i just took the money okay so that's that's a good sign of strength we might retest 380s let's see what happens we're at all-time highs guys i cannot predict from here i mean yeah i can actually i can predict from here i mean not predict but forecast so we can say We can say that we did hit the 60 percent 61.8 percent um and we closed right on there so tomorrow i don't know what the futures look like right now so let's take a look mm, flat so we closed right on this fib I, I just literally drew this so guys we're right on the spot we close right at 381.92 area so 389.92 yep that's where the bid is so market is just technical pure technical 390.27 and 400 to be exact all right we'll see what happens so here we're predicting and here we're predicting so let's let's see what happens. Bullish. It it might flag. It might hit. You know, 390 flag down and then go up towards 400. We'll see what happens from there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and review Apple, Neo, and then I had some requests. Let's cover those. Uh, Apple is bullish and it behaved. So we, we were on the hourly chart yesterday. I said that we have two things. We we close right around here right so I said first we need to break this descending wedge and then we need to break right here at 129 then I'll get in that's what I exactly did I got in right around here and it closed where our boxes so we're very close to it but um, it'll probably retest the higher tip of this um, box maybe in a couple days it might just reset, come back down to 130 and then go up. Who knows? But I believe that, and we we said this, you see the waves? 
it's a trading range. Okay? I believe that it's still going to go on till the earnings. And on the earnings, if we are at 15167, I would not be surprised. So bullish on Apple. I do I do have common shares on the um, trading journey account. We'll see what happens from there. Neo is another name we own, but we own the um, we own one call, February nineteenth, sixty dollar call. I did say that it's going to hit sixty dollars. It hit. So market is behaving tremendously technical. Do you see this today's top and where it hit? And remember when I look at these cloud tops and I give you like this is where the resistance is? Yep, it's like a magnet. So that's what happened today. Um, it's just bouncing between back and forth between these boxes. Um, I am going to say that the next resistance will be again $60. Uh, but I'm not looking. I don't like to look at the hourly on this chart because the daily, the W, and the flag and if this shoots up 69.8 and 86 can this go to 86 yeah maybe by earnings or after earnings or maybe after Tesla earning I don't know what the um, motivation what the news would be but right now our first goal is to break over the uh, nine day moving average um, and then we'll talk about it. But this is don't let you know the down days disappoint you. It needs a reset. I, I told everybody, right? I said we went too high and we can come back to these yellow boxes and it did. You know? Um I said we're gonna close the gap and we did. We might even can we go down further than 54? Yeah. Um I'll still be I'll still be in this name and I'll average down the call because I believe it has more upside to go. This right here, this pattern is bullish as you can get. Okay. Um, and the rest of the names I'm going to go over quickly are the names that were requested. So VSTO, Vista Outdoor. Never heard of this name. Um, there's a trading range right here. Broke out of it. It's flagging and it's getting the support right on the fib line of 27.4. I don't know, I don't want to talk about a company that I don't know too much, but just reading, just reading the chart itself, would it help us? Let's see. So it could come down to as 26868. It could go up all the way to 32. Time will tell. I believe that let's let's do this. Let me since this was a trading range. Since this was a trading range, right? Let's move the trading range up here. So it's sitting right on the top of the box. So it didn't really now, would it drop to 2289? I don't know what the company, maybe the earnings. Earnings seems to go well. They did a really good job on the earnings, but I don't know what the motivation was. Down, uh, the stock went down on a great earnings I see here. Or maybe th this is dividend. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's dividend. So let's take a look at the next trading range. It's going to be right here. So the FIB lines fit perfectly. Your upside to this is this. Uh, VSTO is 3150. Okay. Solo. Another name that I really don't dig the product, but it moves with the market, especially the EV market sector. I like the uh, internals. It looks like it's reversing. Formed a W and a flag. I see an upside to 8869 and 1025. When this moves, it moves. It probably carries a lot of shorts with it. Um, however, it needs to be first stay above 773, close 755. In order for me to say that this stock will get bullish and go to turn around and go for the, um, you know, reversal, it needs to close about above 773, and then we'll see what happens. The real resistance will be 816. So watch out for that level. 
again make notes you know I'll, I'll zoom in more just make notes of where my targets are the yellow boxes are kind of like magnets as we've seen many times Mara was another request marathon patent now I don't know what this company does what I think they do is something to do with blockchain broke out of this uh, pennant got a I would wait till the 20 day moving average which is about 1717 maybe it'll move up a little more tomorrow I don't know I don't like this I don't like this MACD is crossing over stochastics is still you know positive but RSI is coming down I don't know I mean when you break a pennant like this your bounce will be 2299 to 2426 but if you're gonna hold this name long I wouldn't like to get in now if you know if you do if you do something like this I'll say get in as soon as you break above right so what I'm gonna say is get in as soon as you break above this level but this name being a cryptocurrency sector I don't know what it will bring to the table. I, I just don't like to get in these kind of names. It's your DD. It's your due diligence. It's your risk. You can do whatever you want. I'll just tell you that if you're expecting a bounce, it could be $22.99 to $24.26. CBAC. Never heard of this name. Again, CBAC Energy Technology. So it's energy and it's technology. I don't know. I didn't investigate this company of what it does. Um, let's take a look. Kind of wavy. Not bad of a chart, I'm going to say. Yeah, you can get in this name and chase 995. I don't know what the business is. I don't know what the company does. But sure thing, the technicals are ready. So my first target would be 809 to 853. My second target would be 995. Now, you want to wait for this. Um, I don't know how you plan out. I don't know how you invest. I don't know how you size your positions. You do your own due diligence and risk taking. But this chart doesn't look that bad to me. Uh, worst case scenario, looking to down, if it goes down, 49, 49 would be my um, area where I would probably average down. Now, let's take a look at where the FIB extension is. Do you see how technical things are, guys? I mean, even the names that I don't know, I'm just drawing random fibs. Um, it's it's staying right on the uh, 61.8. So it's pretty good. I like the technicals. Uh, it, the stock is moving technically. So I would say look for 809 to 853. Your next target would be 995. Fubo, another name, very speculative, short squeeze driven. I don't know what the company does so differently than ESPN. I, I mean, like, I, I don't know. If you're, if you're loving this stock and you do, did your own due diligence and you know a lot about the company, I don't want to get on your nerves. So, But the thing is this, right? Where could it go from the upside? The downside, we guessed absolutely perfection on, on the spot, right? If it goes higher, it's going to be 38.56. 40 59 I get a lot of dislikes when people ask me when like you know you get this huge green candle here and they're like oh we're not, we're, where are we going people expect expect me to say to the moon but I I said that okay Fubo will probably drop down to 29.99 and people start giving me you know you know dislikes or whatever I mean I don't really get like too many discount uh, uh, um, dislikes or too many views either way but if you're, you know, getting agitated by my um, point targets, don't be, because I'm not really emotionally tied up with any company, right? Um, I'm just telling you where the technicals are telling me. So what I'm reading is what I'm telling you. I, I can't really tell you what you like to hear. Now, if you're bearish on the FUBO, I can't really satisfy you and say, oh, this is going to zero. Or if you're bullish, I can't say it's going back to 60. But what I can tell you on the shorter term, it might see 3856, 4059. If you want to be super bullish, 5786 would be like, you know, an extreme short squeeze kind of play. But that's what the technicals are telling me. Now we can redraw this extension 
you know, somewhere around here and, you know, recorrect our boxes. That's fine, but it's only going to be a couple cents here and there, so not a major. So 38, 19, 4, 42, 4, 22, and then your huge, maybe like a short squeeze kind of play would be 57, 49. I know Andrew Left keeps saying this is an easy $20 stock. Fine, let him, uh, you know, short, and you squeeze the heck out of him. He haven't learned his lesson this year or past year. Um, so that's, you know, my FUBO predict prediction or forecast according to what technicals are selling, saying. So Excel. Um, yeah, lost its grip. Lost its grip. I'd rather wait. I'd rather play the earnings than wait for this. You know, if you're if you're buying, like, let's say you bought Netflix. Like, instead of waiting on this, you know, you cut your loss. You bought Netflix. You made seventeen percent. Yeah. That's what it, it is. What it is. You know, you gotta you you can't. Fall in love with something that you can't see. Like if you know, Apple drops fine. You can wait; it'll make your money. But Excel, I don't know what the news that would wait for it need to you know drive back. Um, it's well below the cloud. We guessed the top perfectly, and I said there's a trading range, but the issue is this, right? It broke down that trading range, and it can see. It can go back to 1817 or 1750s. So you want to take that risk and wait, that's fine. But if you want to go back and buy like a basket of, you know, uh, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Tesla, Microsoft, and just wait for the earnings, that's, I think you get a better chance. I mean, I don't know. So I don't want to sit and wait for this to go down and play the wedge. Um, most I see it going up would be uh, 2045, okay, 2045. That's exactly what we said with Zoom, right? It went up, it hit the under the cloud, and I said, do I expect it to come back down a little? I think uh, with Zoom, what happened today was that European uh, customers were having delays or unable to open their application or whatever. So it went down. You know, technicals are saying it will go down. It'll, you'll have some you know, news that it will, it will trigger. BNGO is another name that we've got in and we said we will get in and we were right. So I kind of deleted some things. Let me see if I could do control Z on it. No, I can't. I can't bring back undo or anything, but what happened today? I deleted it, but if, if you see the Twitter or if you see, let me see if on Twitter I have this uh, drawing. Let's take a look. Yeah, right here, guys. What did I say yesterday? I said that we'll buy in at 7.62 and 7.07. I started buying in between. Um, yeah, sure, I did buy like right here as well after close. Bought it today before open. I bought it after open. I think I'm up to like 900 shares now. And that's about it. I don't want to invest anymore in this company. Uh, where we predicted is 8.46. So, yeah, this is our Twitter handle, at bulldozer underscore INVST, to get uh, updates on some of the charts and our YouTube. Um, you know, when I do record YouTube, you can also get um, you can also get updated uh, alerts on Twitter as well. So, anyhow, what will happen is this. I'm expecting it to go maybe at the cloud top at most 896. I'll probably sell half my shares there. So I'll have my shares at 99, 997. Okay. Now, would it go to 8, 8, 1183 and 1484? Yeah. But I'm in this name for a short time, right? I'm not a long term uh, investor in this name. I like the technology, I researched a little bit. I'm just playing the reversal here, so I'm not going to get married with the stock. Um, that's my bingo predict, not bingo, but B N G O. I keep calling it bingo, but Bio Nano. That's what it is. So, anyhow, last again, Palantir. A lot of people want to hear Palantir, so we'll get through that. I kept saying it. Obviously, it it, it touched again today. So that 2742s, 2750s. Is acting like a magnet. It touches, it sells. I think there's a lot of day trading going on with this name. Um, 
I'm not going to lie. You can make huge money just buying it during the close, selling it in the morning. Buying it at close, selling it in the morning. Buying it at close, selling it after, you know, right at the open. That's what I think people are doing. Um, as I said, let it rest. Pretty supportive, this cloud level on the hourly. Let's take a look at the four-hour chart. Um, by any means, the chart is bullish. But it's just that I want people to get exhausted. Pretty supportive on the four hours, on the 90 um, moving average. Um, this resistance is like rock. Now, when I see resistance on Palantir, it usually goes down. I'm just waiting for that. So here, too, like this resistance, and it went down. Now, the resistance here, it could see all the way down to 24.57. If we break this resistance, we have 2874 next level and then 3259, which is my goal. Now, I'm going to sit and relax. I am out of volunteer. Will I get back? Yes. Will I buy more shares? Yes. Um, but in time. So now I'm giving it time. This whole drop cost me about $10,000. Average it down. Sold it with a profit right here on 27.77. It went up to like 28, um, but I came out with like 1,500 or $2,000 profit, and I bought it here. Sold it for another 400, and then bought it on the close the other day. Sold it again this morning. So collectively, I'm probably well over 2,500 profit, um, but that's nothing. You know, that's pocket change for this name. When this explodes, when, it, when this goes to 32 and then 40s, um, it's going to be huge. But I'm just going to I'm just going to go ahead and um, buy in slowly. Okay. So that's about it. We gave um, all the uh, I went over all the requests. I went over the market, and that's about it, guys. I mean, obviously, I could have went over Corsair. And all the other, you know, blinks, um, yeah, Uber, and all the other names, even like NNDM. But obviously, that's too much time. Videos are getting long, and I just don't want to, you know, record 40-minute videos. So that's about it today. We'll, we went over a little bit of 20 minutes. That's about it today. We'll come back tomorrow. Um, you can sub submit your request through YouTube or um, Twitter, and I'll try to cover them the, the next closed uh, market. So good evening, and be safe.